Hey, you think there's a bathroom on this one? <laughs> on this episode of Hunter Saves the Galaxy, we get our first long haul video, which is just a lot of flying. Trust me though, upon recording this bit, this is nothing compared to the hauling we're gonna do. Hip 21991 is a star that is 152 light years away from our current position. Yikes. However, I've upgraded the ship so that we can make it in only a few jumps. And considering that this is the current size of the galaxy, that's preferable. So, despite my better judgment, we are playing Elite Dangerous again. Alright, so our next destination is Sangatia. Sangatia is... give me statistics. Patronage. It's, it's in a state of blight. Yikes. <laughs> Sucks for you. Uh... <laughs> So this is our path. It isn't gonna take too much long to get there. We have a pretty good engine now. I have figured out how everything works. Also, apparently this right here is our last chance to scoop fuel on this route. Because we have a fuel scoop, we can fly close to the sun. We are H close to HIP 20342. Now, we need to get there because that's where the invitation has said we need to go. From there, we will receive help in procuring a much better ship and a hell of a lot more money. So, we need to go to Sengadia. We'll start there. Pick up a job here first. See if we can find anything going to Singadia so that we can make money on our way there. Alright, let's see. There are two jobs here and neither of them are going where we need them to go. You make this difficult. No. No. Try you. No. <laughs> Didn't I already try this one? Either way, he doesn't have it. No to that one, too. Okay, so to answer my own question, no, there isn't one going out that way. Brilliant. This is our new ship. All our knickknacks are have written, carried over from the previous ship. I also have a new shirt and everything. If I'm gonna be stuck in these goddamn things for all eternity, we might as well improve them. I'm gonna turn up my mic. I'm supposed to be keeping things quiet. Alright. Go ahead and start the auto-launch process. Our first priority is to get outside. Yeah, the ship is still stuck in German. That's an airlock? I don't think this is. <laughs> so this new ship is equipped with several new weapons. Let's see here. We have a cannon, a multi-cannon, and a subsurface displacement missile for mining. Keep going. We're not out of the mass area yet. This thing also has a uh, night vision windshield, which is very nice. I like that. 
I like the night vision windshields. All right, we're no longer mass locked. You are clear of the station. Have a safe trip, Commander. Yeah, whatevs. Where the hell are we going? Wait. Is that where we're going? Open up the galaxy map. Where's our route? Did it find another route? There's got to be a more efficient route than what you just came up with. <laughs> Let me try again. So it's... There it is. Oh, I see. So we have to get there first. Okay, this is gonna be longer than I thought it was. Like that alone is 111 light years away. Very well. I mean, I figured it would be a long run, but this is a bit excessive. Yes, engage friendship drive. Where is the target? I still haven't exactly figured out how that. There it is. I still haven't exactly figured out how this map works. Comets and nebulae. All right. Well, you see one giant star, you've seen them all. <laughs> there are there any stations here? There's a ground base. It's on a moon from the looks of it. Ancient settlement. They're the controlling faction. And this would be... Another one. It's a pain in the ass to land on these things, though. I think we should just keep moving. Besides, if we stop in every single system, we're gonna be here all night. Let me just confirm that Sugruvik is our next destination. It is. Alright. Sugru... Sugruvik it is. What do you mean, obscured? Don't make me go to the other side of the sun. Um, you're gonna make me, aren't you? Just a second. Oh, shut up. I'm not even... I'm not even anywhere near the sun. <laughs> Do you want me to be near the sun? Wait, is it that the... Is that where we need to be? Hang on. Yeah, friendship from Ethan from Opgevalden. What he said. <laughs> Begin friendship jump. Friendship. 
friendship jump. Okay. <laughs> so where we lie now? Uh, Tugravik 1A planetary station. One of these days we're gonna have to land on one of these. For now, let's just Okay. For for now, first off, let's try not to burn up in the sun. Where is the target? Uh, didn't I see it? There it is. There we go. We got about 50 jumps to get through. And we're making good progress. If we're already at three. This is basically a Euro truck. Ugh. One of these days it's gonna just throw it at us. Well, that's our next destination, but let's see if we can find... I don't think there's actually anything out here. Alright. If we have to keep jumping towards stars like this, it's gonna get real old. <laughs> Alright, so supposedly this entire area is in anarchy. Throttle up. You couldn't give me a tiny bit of fuel from from that? Hmm. All right, heat levels are spiking because we're using that thing too much, I think. That or we're way too close to the sun. Hang on. Okay. Things are a little better now. Please tell me this next one has a station of some kind. Independent dictatorship. And... Uh, well, it's got a name, so I would hope it has somewhere to land and fuel up. You guys know that I like to keep fuel in a relatively comfortable comfortable state. Once we get down to a quarter tank, I like to find a gas station. Is that? There it is. Current speed too much. Way too much. Oh boy. Hi there. <laughs> Hello there. Now, I don't know if the fuel scoop deploys automatically. Let's see here. Zero point two tons per second. Well, supposedly it's online. Is it on? I 
I can't even tell. All right, we got B4, B1, and B2. Show me the planetary map. Ooh, that's a nice red one. Where's the base? Supposedly, there are settlements on this on this rock. I think we just gotta get to that planet. Obstructed. Of course it is. Hold up. We're getting fuel from this. As long as we maintain this distance. Alright, let the heat go back down. Try and scoop up some fuel. It's free fuel! I want it. Is that our destination? Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> All right. Hello, planet. And that would be A1. Supposedly, this is where we'll find a settlement. Still not seeing it on the map. Ooh, hello. <laughs> What's this? Size comparison charts. Supposedly, this thing has a asteroid belt. I don't think I saw that flying in. I don't see it now, either. I am so confused. I endeavor to say that there actually isn't a settlement on this thing. No, I think that icon just indicates that we can land on the stupid thing. Wait, here we go. Port offers safe harbor. Good. We'll use that. Oh god, no, where are you going? Did I say you could turn that on? The dust on the windshield is really starting to show itself. Alright, that's it. Way over there. Okay. Cruise is active. And now it'll take five weeks to get there. I flew half. I flew literally across a solar system to reach the stupid thing. 
They were still not there. In fact, the ship is slowing down without my permission. Dude, give me the whiplash. I don't care. As long as we... Th as long as we're there... Actually, if you guys saw the whiplash at the guy in the expanse, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it ain't fun. Ooh, this looks like a fun planet. Is that water? Nah, it can't be. This is a rock. Ooh. We're spinning. Spinning around, entering an orbit. I, I didn't ask for that. Did we ask for orbit? I don't think so. Those are some huge ass craters down there, though. Orbiting destination. All right, just stop the ship from spinning. I think it's doing that on its own, actually. Banking, I mean. Shit, where are we going? Why do I have two messages? Promotion to peddler. Yay. Pilots for Federation has advanced you to the rank of peddler. Yay. Union reputation change. And our reputation with the Union has been raised to cordial. Yay, I guess. Right, where is... Think our... Think our destination is on the other side of the planet. Distressing. All right, give me an hour with this. All right, bring her in now. Yes, I'm doing this upside down. <laughs> All right, so 300 kilometers out or out away. If I can see the base already, this planet is not that big. I mean, yikes. Maybe we can take the car out and drive around the car for a little bit. Yes, there is the car now. Dropping from orbital cruise gliding. All right. So we're gonna need landing clearance at this place. I am not too crazy about a place called Fujimori Keep, though. That's depressing sounding. <laughs> Did I say slow down? Jesus Christ. Right. Well, we can't request a docking until we're like something like 7.5 kilometers out. Uh, turn those on. The place is huge. Jesus. Ugh, nose. All right. Let's get landed. Almost there. And we've entered the no fire zone and 7.5. Okay. We have you on scouts. Continue your current heading. Boring speed. All right, we got ten minutes to land. Ooh, who's that? Who's that guy in the 
space ship. <laughs> Eh, who cares? All right. Where the? How high up are we? About a, about a click. Landing gears out. Yeah, this ship has landing gear. Believe it. <laughs> It's not a great looking place, is it? Confirmed contact, line crew dispatched. Welcome to the facility. Thank you. Alright, let's see. First we're gonna... Well, I guess we're gonna repair and then we're gonna get some gas. Let's have a look at the mission board here. I need to know where we're going, actually, before I accept anything. Uh, navigation, navigation. Where is it? Current route, all right, SETI sector CQY. D108 or that other place past it. Let me just grab a snapshot of that because there's no way I'm going to remember these names. Snapshots. Okay. Let's see. What was that? This. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Alright. So either that SETI sector or... Wadimu. Nothing from this guy. Hey, here we go. Liberate liquor. Well, that's one way to word it, I guess. Uh, any cargo missions? Surface recovery of a geological sample. But I definitely don't plan to be there very long. exactly does this entail? Need you to find the missing bootleg liquor. Cargo is unique to the mission and cannot be replaced if lost. Alright. They'll be in the water moose system. Take the items to the Fujimori Keep. I'm not coming back here. Uh... Well, let me see if I can... At least upgrade our fuel tank or our engine while we're here. Why can't you just turn on the fucking upgrade screen? To take nine hours. Alright. So. There is no stock of any fuel tanks. Let's try our friendship drive. These are actually all worse than our current drive. This one is on par. <laughs> yeah, we get 16 light year max range on this particular drive. It's crazy. 
think I want to keep that one, actually. Christ! It's a good drive. It's a good drive. And life support's not that important. Yes, I did just say that. Thrusters. I need thrusters that are better in almost every way. You know, we could use better power distributors. Or a cooling system. Can we get a cooling system on board? Ooh, hang on. Point defense. Kill warrant scanners, experimental stuff. Neat. All right, tell you what, I do want these PDCs. Where's the other one? It's on the other side. All right, we'll have the one PDC and then PC electron electronic countermeasures. So we would have a PDC and electronic countermeasures. Ooh. <laughs> It's a wake scanner. Can calculate the destinations of destination of a hyperspace jump by analysis of frame shift energy wake. What's that mean? <laughs> In English, damn it. I'm not a very good rocket scientist. Scanner that can detect and analyze the contents of a target's and targeted vessel's cargo hold in passenger cabins. I like that. Developed by the NSA. <laughs> Alright, screw it. We'll go with the one PDC. Fire group. All right, you sure you don't have anything for wherever it was I was going? Wodimui. Wadimui. Sounds like a fucking lake in New Hampshire or something. <laughs> Ceramic composites. All right, I guess we're not getting anything good out of this. when we reach Wadamui. <laughs> oh, I will climb to that altitude that you said. By going straight up at like a 90 degree angle. And boost. We are no longer mass locked. Which means we're on our way to our next destination. I can't be stopped. Where is our next destination? SETI sector. Uh. 
All right. SETI sector it is. Here we go. Give me a sec. There it is. Well, that's not too bad. We visited a planet. Depths of space. Yeah, we should say something inspiring. If you wish to make an apple pie from scratch, you must first interrupt my amazing quotes with a phone. It's Carl Sagan, but not really. <laughs> I mean, it is Carl Sagan, except the phone part. Low security, government patronage. Its allegiance is the Empire. Yeah, what he said. Scoop a tiny bit of fuel while we're still near the sun. Ugh. Jeez, that was bad. You see all the smoke? Look at our heat level. Ah, oh, jeez. Hang on. There are fucking sparks flying off this thing. There is a shower on this thing, right? <laughs> Let's see what's around us. Outpost. Less docking capacity with starports with no large landing pads. They also offer fewer station services. What about Dixon? No. You know what, we'll try Dixon. Let's see. Align with destination. And he is there. That'll take forever. Okay, planet with no atmosphere, non-terraformable, discovered something. Okay. In the codex, I guess. Reported location, HIP, yada yada. Reported by that guy. Great. Wonderful. I don't really care. Why are you telling me? Look, I found a rock. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I get to name it? Probably not. Whoa, what? Hello? Alright, hold up. Cannons up. All right, hang on. Give me some speed. There he is. All right. You came at me. Both guns out of range. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Alright, put the guns away. Can we 
get back to uh, whatever I was doing, please? Christie's inheritance. High security surface facility often target a faction aggression, making them a good place to find mercenary work. Neat. And this is... Neat. Alright, we're headed to the dock, though. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> uh, we're moving again. Ah! I thought you were supposed to be helping me. You didn't help me at all. Why'd you do that? Here we go. When you're flying through the vast emptiness of space, it pays to be accurate. What the fuck? Is this a minefield I'm looking at? What is that? There's a contact. I have entered a no-fire zone. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, it's just really dark and I can't see anything. Alright, landing pad two. Which one is two? I'm sure it'll figure it out in, in by itself. Is that two? Well, it's flying directly at it, so I would hope so. No one's here to greet me for some reason. Let's see what they can offer. Fuel, probably. A few repairs. And a mission board. We're still in Wodomi, right? Let me see. Our next destination is SETI Sector FBX, then LP887-70, Kalangbaka is our next one. That would have any allegiance. And their allegiance is anarchy. So, do you have any missions there? No. This guy has a lot of missions in this particular area. How about you? Nothing for Baka? Oh, that's depressing. All right. Well, I tried. I think we could cut this video off here for now. We have a lot of flying ahead of us. Of the 150 light years we need to cover to reach our destination, we have covered 
Uh, let me do the math here. About mm, a little less than 40. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. These all trade routes? Well, apparently we're going to be leaving those behind.